Just when retailers were hoping the coming holidays would get shoppers spending their dollars, rapidly rising prices might make them pinch their pennies instead. The paycheck just doesn't go as far as it used to. Gas costs 13 cents more per gallon than last year. A gallon of milk is up nearly 30 cents. In just the last month, coffee has gone up 24 cents a pound. And now cotton prices are at all-time highs, up 400 percent in the last two years. Last week's price was nearly double what it was in July. Last spring, bad weather in India, Pakistan and China destroyed cotton fields, slashing the global supply. While demand is higher than ever, the growing middle class in those countries is spending its newfound wealth on Western-style cotton clothes. Rich Delano works in China, where investors are ignoring stocks and buying bales. What they're doing is they're buying actually containers of cotton yarn and holding it and sitting on it. Upping the prices, which are just now trickling down the supply chain. The cotton costs more, so the pockets cost more, which means these all-cotton jeans are going to cost you more. Higher prices are a tough sell in this economy, so manufacturers are cutting where they can, using synthetic blends, lowering labor costs, and searching for long-term alternatives. Including from an unlikely source, bamboo, which looks like cotton, feels like cotton, and at this point is cheaper than cotton. See, she has all the kids' styles here. Delano says inquiries for his bamboo fabric are up almost 50 percent. More manufacturers and more brands, more designers are looking for alternative fibers and alternative fabrics. Tough times can be fertile ground for new ideas. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Los Angeles.